Now we are going to solve our 12th problem and according to the problem a 3 volts DC supply with an internal resistance of 2 ohms supplies a passive nonlinear resistance characterized by the relation V nonlinear equal to the I nonlinear square and we are required to find out the power dissipated in the nonlinear resistance. There are four options and we need to choose one correct option. Now let's move on to the solution of the problem. We are having one 3 volts DC supply with an internal resistance of 2 ohms. And we know in case of DC supply, the internal resistance is connected in series. Therefore, we will have the arrangement like this. This is our source providing 3 volts and this is the internal resistance having the value 2 ohms and the source is supplying to a passive non-linear resistance which I am representing by the black box and this resistance is having the characteristics relation VNL equal to the square of INL where VNL is the voltage across the resistance and I NL is the current through the resistance and according to the characteristics relation we have VNL equal to the square of I NL and we are required to calculate the power dissipated in the non-linear resistance. So we want to calculate power dissipated in this element which is VNL multiplied to INL voltage across the element multiplied to the current through the element and to calculate the power dissipated we want to calculate INL because once we have INL we can replace VNL by INL square and then we will put the value of INL to get the power dissipated and to calculate INL I will apply KVL in this circuit we will have plus 3 plus 3 then we will have minus INL multiplied to 2 ohms minus INL multiplied to 2 then we will have minus VNL minus VNL equal to 0 from here we can say that VNL is equal to 3 minus 2 INL and we know VNL is equal to INL square therefore we will have INL square equal to 3 minus 2 INL and from here we can finally have one quadratic equation which is I NL square plus 2 I NL minus 3 equal to 0. Now we can write 2 times I NL equal to 3 I NL minus I NL. Therefore we will have I NL square plus 3 I NL minus I NL minus 3 equal to 0. So we have written 2 I NL equal to 3 I NL minus I NL and when you focus on the first two terms you will find I NL is common. Therefore we will take I NL common and inside the bracket we will have I NL plus 3 and from the last two terms we will get minus 1 common so we have minus 1 common inside the bracket we will have I NL plus 3 equal to 0 now from this term and this term we have I NL plus 3 common so finally we have I NL plus 3 multiplied to I NL minus 1. So from here we will have two values of I NL 
the first value is equal to 1 and the second value is equal to minus 3 and we will reject minus 3 we will not accept minus 3 the reason is we have assumed the direction of current i and l in this way current i and l is entering the positive terminal of the element and leaving the negative terminal of the element this shows that the element is a passive element which is true now if we take minus 3 as the value of i and l this means the direction we have assumed is not the actual direction of the current but the current is flowing in opposite direction this means current is leaving the positive terminal and it is entering the negative terminal and this will make this element an active element but in the question it is mentioned that the non-linear resistance is a passive element and there is only one active element in the circuit which is DC supply and because of this the current will leave the positive terminal and will enter the negative terminal of the 3 volt source therefore we will reject minus 3 and we will take 1 as the value of I and L now we will calculate the power dissipated V and L is equal to I and L square therefore we have I and L cube and we have calculated I and L therefore power dissipated will be equal to 1 cube which is equal to 1 so 1 watt is the answer and hence option A is the correct option so this is all for the question now we will move on to the homework problem and in the homework problem you are required to find the voltage VAB that is you need to find out the potential difference between this point and this point calculate VAB and once you have your answer post it in comment section